This is why you never trust anyone from Hollywood. All right, what is this thing that I absolutely have to watch before the trial continues? Fraud upon the court, Amber Heard Court lying and cheating. I take one weekend off to be with my family, and it's of course the weekend that we catch Amber's best friend and the whole legal team lying to the judge. Oh, we got to break this one down for you. I'm Andy Signor. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. We have a full day of Johnny coverage to get to, but I couldn't not cover this story because it's imperative we get the word out on how sneaky Team Amber is being, and it's only week one. This story is infuriating, guys. All right, so we talked a little bit about Eve Barlow before. Eve Fartlow, as I call her. Yeah, I'm going to own it now because... I, I despise this woman. She is uh -huh. such a snake, and she is now caught doing the same thing that she's accusing everything everyone else of. Uh, Eve Barlow was booted from the court on Friday. Uh, we Who the didn't hell know is exactly Eve Barlow? why. We had seen this footage. Uh, here's the footage in question. Eve Barlow's right here. She's Amber's best friend. Let me go to the full screen so you can see below. She's on her phone, on her laptop. This is all Team Amber right here. These are all uh, Amber people checking and scouring social media. They're not supposed to be doing this. And she had handed over this phone to the uh, uh, Rottenborn, who's going through this image. It's unclear who's cropping what and who's doing what. But... This was allegedly the image that brought all this attention to while uh -huh. Georgina, Johnny's uh, friend, was on the stand. Right, as, right before Georgina was about to get pulled as a witness and her, her testimony stricken, it was due to this team finding an image on Instagram to get, it, to get her out, to say, oh, sh to, to, to trigger the questions of, have you been watching this trial? Uh, and here's the phone in question as they're going through the social media posts, etc., handed in by Eve, who's like, you know, verifying and, and handing and, and talking. Well, what's about wrong it. about and we've this? We've had reports that Eve's the one who handed the phone over to document all this. Uh, meanwhile, here's Amber spreading a note as they're all talking. All this, all this is too much action. Team Johnny's just sitting. They're being they're being calm, collected. They're not breaking any rules. But here you got a whole note system of weird phones and laptops and social media checking live as we're going. It's not right. So Georgina was booted, right? We know that so far. But here's where things get interesting. Uh, Eve Barlow, I want to come back to it. Here, I want to get straight to the transcript. So here's the transcript in question from the court. This happened. Uh, we, we didn't get to hear this, but uh, we got the court reporter. Okay, here's uh, Johnny's lawyer. Your Honor, very briefly, may it please the court. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. May, uh, uh, ben, Ch ben Chu for Johnny Depp. I have a matter. It's a very serious one. Won't take much time. Okay, okay. May I approach? Yes, sir. Your Honor, we are moving, or Mr. Depp is moving, for the permanent exclusion of Eve Barlow. Eve Barlow? Who's Eve Barlow? Eve Barlow is a journalist and Miss Heard's current girlfriend. So that's why Eve Barlow's been up and us so hard. Yeah. Not because she's the unbiased Amber fan. She's... <laughs> She's Amber's girlfriend. Okay, it makes so much more sense. Okay, mm -hmm. imagine leaving Johnny Depp and now being stuck with Eve Barlow. Uh, sorry, but we keep on. <laughs> I digress. Uh, she was sitting in the front row yesterday, and the court ordered her to the back row. And then she was later, as I will discuss in a minute, thrown out at 4:31 p.m. by Lieutenant Porter. But if I could explain to the court what the court is seeing, you will recall yesterday, Mr. Rottenborn came up with what was Miss Barlow's phone. Okay, and he showed you the first document that you're looking at, the shorter version, right? The text. This is a text from Miss Duders, Gina Duders. We're not we understand that she was. We're not. We understand that she was properly excluded. But this is what he showed your honor, saying to the court, representing to the court that Miss Duders had texted since the start of this trial. And your honor will see that Mr. Rottenburn shown you did not have the date. If you look at the second document, you will see, Your Honor, we'll see. I'm sorry. It's an Instagram post. It's an Instagram post. So, Mr. Rottenborn, it's not like I would mm -hmm. know the difference, but thank I think I, th I thank you for the kind of creation. You're welcome. Uh, I didn't give my age, but so what Mr. Rottenborn showed you uh, was Miss Duder's Instagram post without the date. And the second document you're looking at was her post, and it shows the date, which makes it very clear that this was January 8, 2021. That is... Material misrepresentation, Miss Duders posted this during the London trial. So hold on. What? Whoa. Yes. Georgina, who was Gina, who was kicked out, they they basically took a screenshot of this Instagram post, which Eve did, cropped the date out 
which would have shown it was from the UK trial where she says, uh, our dear friend's got a few wins in court this week and yet some press coverage to belittle him as desperate in this plight. You know what? Anyway, this was re 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 reacting to the UK trial, not uh -huh. the trial we're currently in. That was very disturbing to see that they did this. We believe it was fraud upon the court. We believe that Mr. Rottenborn, an officer of the court, should have taken a look at what he was handing up to the court, especially since it was handed to him by someone improperly sitting in the first row, a reporter and Miss Hurd's girlfriend. And that's not, that's not where it ends, Your Honor, unfortunately. Miss Barlow has been passing notes to and from Miss Hurd from the beginning of the trial. And she's been sending out live tweets throughout the trial. Is she still sending out tweets? She was as of 431 yesterday when she was removed from this court. Oh, these, the, everything. I might approach it, I'll do it more time. This was Miss Barlow's post during Miss Vasquez opening, and you'll see her, the court. So she was tweeting from the courtroom? <laughs> she was tweeting in the courtroom. She was sitting right there tweeting during Miss Vasquez's opening. Your Honor may remember that Miss Vasquez said that Miss Hurd was giving the performance, would be the giving the performance of her lifetime. So she says in real time, actually, it was Vasquez who was giving the performance of a lifetime of her life. So this is con con uh, contraptious, sorry, I said that wrong, contemporaneous <laughs> with my colleague's Contem opening. She's live tweeting and getting that. it all Fuck out to the public. And finally, and this is the last time I'm sorry, Your Honor will remember that when we first raised this issue, Your Honor ordered people to the back. So Miss Barlow reluctantly left. The first seat went to the back. And this is the tweet that got her thrown out the last time. What does Amber Herb ho ho Heard hope to achieve? She has a gorgeous one-year-old daughter, and she said she was beginning the rest of my life in 2021, 12 months after her mother died. And it was at that point that Lieutenant Porter saw her violating the court's order and asked her to leave. Now, Your Honor, if this were just an isolated, well, actually, I'll take that back. It's more. If you violate the order, you violate the order. It's more than enough to get her thrown out permanently, but it also takes it takes place in a context. Your Honor will remember that inappropriate disclosure of the SA violations and violation of the protection order, perhaps more egregiously because people weren't on participating by VX. And two days before trial, Ms. Heard posted her own Instagram post uh, with her opening argument. And I understand none of the juries referred to it, but she made it very clear in her Instagram post that Mr. Depp's name wasn't mentioned in her op-ed, which was the primary feature of Mr. Rottenburn's opening. That was really egregious. Then during my opening to try and throw me off, Elaine made an improper objection saying, you know, and she tried to mention it. The point is, Your Honor, the court's orders must mean something. Dude, We're trying to play by the rules thanks here. For the and it's really appreciate that. Seven what months Barlow in a row. Has done. She was thrown thank out you, yesterday, thank you, thank you. all we're asking, a very limited form of relief, is that she be barred from attending for the rest of the trial. All right, Elaine, Amber's attorney. That's right, but uh, I love you, it, bro. I actually had thank absolutely you. no clue I really appreciate that she was it, going to raise this this morning. So I'm responding to it cold. <laughs> First of all, Eve Bar... If, when you guys sub to the channel, please share it so I can fucking see it. Because I love saying thank you, and I love when you guys sub. So don't fucking hide it, bro. Don't hide it. Own that shit. Own that shit. Arlo is not a journalist. Dude, it's just getting Second worse. All, she's not Miss Hurd's. Well, you know, I really don't care about all that. She was tweeting live in my courtroom. This is 431. Uh, Elaine, I don't know about that, Your Honor. Well, I do. I can read it. 431, April 14th. Oh, Elaine, I know she... The court interrupts. I know that the deputies took her out because she was texting. That's against the court order. I don't let anybody. If I find anybody else texting, they don't get to come back in. Patrick, so why you would motherfucker. She be able to back in? Thank you so much for 20 gifted subs. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get some hearts in chat? There's 20 of you bastards that now also have a sub. So can can we get some can, can we get some hearts going? Dude, I really appreciate the money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. Uh, dude, it's just getting w worse. Just use this guy to keep uh, updated. It, it, it's getting worse. Like, her team is so fucking sketch. Bro, so sketch. It's like, fuck my life. And, Elaine, and, and I have no knowledge of this, Your Honor. And I know you didn't. And I understand that. And I mean, like... I say when people were passing notes, I thought, well, legal teams, that's why I gave you the first row because of legal teams. And then more information comes to me in bits and pieces that it's not legal team. Okay, so move back, Elaine. And then, but then she's still texting. <laughs> so 
Elaine says. And let me back up just a little bit. Miss Barlow was not here during the opening. She was not present in the courtroom. And so the court, well, she was. Be Stefan, you bastard. Thanks for the five community subs. They really appreciate that. More hearts in chat. Come on. Let's fucking see him, people. Let's see him. We have some, what can only be described as the biggest train wreck in the history of ever happening in front of us. Are you not entertained already? And then we have people dropping cash like we're in a fucking one dollar whorehouse. I, I I can't ask for anything better. So thank you so much to everyone dropping the cash, bro. Uh, this time around, the cash is going to go for a good cause. I'm going to buy a house. This will be the one and only time that I use the money smartly. Once I have the house, I'm going back to just wasting the fucking money. Uh, maybe I'll get myself a nice jar of coke like Johnny Depp. You know, be cool and shit. Like a jar of the fucking shit. Just, just hanging about. I was present when she did this live tweet in my courtroom. <laughs> Elaine. And, well, that may be, Your Honor. I have no knowledge of it. I, I have no knowledge of it, and I have no way to address that, Your Honor. Well, I do, says the judge. Miss Barlow is not coming back into the courtroom during this trial. Elaine, Ooh, okay. The court, easy. okay? All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank Dude, you. It must be Thank so... you, Your Honor. This concludes the center portion. So, guys... It must be so nice is, being a judge. This is not going to get to the jury, which is really frustrating to see the... the first of all, it's a lie, Elaine. Uh, again, so here's uh, during this um, so portion of got, Georgina talking. Um, on the plane that I was on, it was Johnny... Here's uh, Ben Jerry getting George, her attention, telling her about this whole um, thing. Debbie Lloyd and myself. And maybe one of... Maybe one of the... Telling all this... Getting this thing. It's and not a joke, Cuthred. Cocaine this and hookers is how it works. Um, you mentioned like, the do name it. there. I don't think we've yeah. heard before. Can you just tell the jury quickly who Debbie Lloyd is? And then they stand up based on an Instagram post that's invalid, without a date, a random t thing they just saw. They go up, and she's now removed. That's it. Oh the judge asks her, have you seen testimony? And Gina goes, "I've have you have you seen it? She's like, well, I've seen clips. Dude. And have you seen wow. a witness? I, I, this is why you never trust anyone from Hollywood. Anyone that's involved in the media, reporters or anything like that, they're all sketched. This is a reporter, by the way, that decided to defraud the fucking courts. These people are fucking scumbags, dude. It's what they are. Scumbags. They, you know what I loved about sort of... So in the early... in the During the Middle Ages... Uh, we, we studied this quite a lot during theater studies. During the Middle Ages, actors weren't actually allowed to live inside the cities. So acting as a profession uh, was allowed by the church. The church didn't have a problem with, uh, you know, actors doing plays and playwrights writing plays and stuff like that. But actors weren't allowed to live inside the cities. The reason why... As a matter of fact, the church believed that actors shouldn't be in cities is because of moral depravity. The church believed that actors had no morals, their moral code was completely fucking numb, and therefore wouldn't be allowed to live inside the cities. Now, regardless of your fucking feelings about the church, and yes, the church was kind of fucking bonkers because they also thought, you know, you burn someone. If they're a witch, they won't burn. If they burn, they're not a witch. Oops. Right? So... Let's just, let's just remember that the church is not all good. But when you look at the majority of Hollywood scumbags, do you not agree that these people should absolutely fucking never be a part of society? It is just the worst people in the world. I know because I studied with these fucking people. I spent four years of my life with actors. And I can tell you now, they will sell your mother they will sell their own mothers if it gets them apart if it if it makes them look good in the eyes of the people so to speak fucking terrible people and she's like i've seen clips of it my god who hasn't seen clips of this they didn't even like get to well what did you see what did you watch what did you no 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 just, what if she was walking by the news on the, on the airport it's so egregious what's happened here all because eve barlow's out there playing cheating not doing a real fight it's, it's, this is terrifying, guys, the resorts they go to. And you want to tell me, oh, oh, she had nothing. She had no idea, guys. She had no idea. Really? Really? How oh, about this? Knew. Who are you winking at, Eve? Who, 
uh, who were you winking? Oh, sorry, you don't see it. Who were you winking at, Eve? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, look at that. So take a few housekeeping matters. Who's up, winking so what? Have you take a, a recess for a few look minutes? Look at okay? that. So again, no outside research and don't talk to anybody. All about. right, we got her. Straight to oh Elaine. No, Elaine God. has no idea who she is. Fuck, oh, no, I hate Elaine's these people, not part bro. Of this at all. Oh, no, 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 no. I have no I have no idea, Your Honor. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I don't know what you're referring to. Except, you know, that time she winked at me after the time she got the note, and I clearly knew she handed the note. <laughs> but I don't know what you're speaking about, Your Honor. And what's so problematic about all of this is this is not the first lie that Elaine's been caught in. Uh, it's also not the first lie that Amber's been caught on. We're going to get there in a second. But it's mm -hmm. really imperative you understand how this all works. Now, lawyers, I yeah, guess, are allowed us, to lie, us. I've learned, which is really crazy. Hey, when you said but all I, this, I and then there again. was a divorce settlement, you got $7 million. People were saying this is all about the money. But then you did something that all these faces uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? $7 million in total was donated to... I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los okay. Angeles. ACLU is a human rights organization. Sorry, ACLU the, is a prominent... It's called the American right. Civil Liberties Union. They work on behalf of Who marginalized she, communities later, uh, we on learn, the ground and the her. legislative reform. Right. And well, more power to you, because that's, that's something that I've never heard I wanted of. Uh, Nothing. I wanted nothing. Look at that. I wanted nothing. Oh, really? Amber. I hate this really, girl so Amber. much. Well, bro. Uh, here's Elaine <laughs> confirming that one. Confirms her client has yet to fulfill the seven million pledges she made uh, to the. So I just want you all to know that uh, if any of you donate a million dollars, right, I will pledge that money to like five charities. I will write the checks myself. If they promise not to cash it, that's the same, right? Same, right? As 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 long as I've pledged it, as long as I've like said, yeah, you know, I I, I really want to give this money to charity. I don't actually have to give the money to charity, right? Or else, or not charity, by the way, Evans. I'm helping girls make something better of their lives. Most of those girls are telling me that they they're saving up for college. So uh, if anything, I, I would be more than happy to take all the money you donate. And, and start a college fund, a college fund. To, to, to either. Amber has already been responsible for seven figures in donations to charitable causes and intends to continue. Thank to, you, to, Domingo. Just, I really appreciate it, causes, bro. <laughs> even though she was contractually obligated to give it to these due to a divorce settlement. Yeah. Uh, well, she hasn't been able to and continues to contrib contribute and eventually will fulfill her pledge. Uh... Elaine eventually explains. However, Amber has been delayed in that goal because Mr. Depp filed a lawsuit against her and consequently has now been forced to spend millions of dollars defending Mr. Depp's false accusations against her. Oh, is that right? That's not how that is works. Is that right? Well, we know when you got the payments. We know when you got the payments. And uh, Alex, here's the timeline doing, in question. You had the payments, the full $7 million, on February 1st, 2018. Yeah. February 1st, 2018. Whole what is that? February to June, you the Sun articles published on the twenty eighth on the twenty seventh. So you had you had what three months, and then you had another what five six months before the lawsuit was 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 placed against the Sun, mind you, not uh -huh. against Amber, against the Sun. And then blasphemous girl. Well, thank why would she have to defend dude. herself in the not sun? Not for the cheese sandwich, been, right, guys? Like fuck the cheese sandwich, but a subscription to Pornhub, dude. I'm gonna be so popular. And then on the Nixie, 18th of 2018, you. she's on the thank radio. On, on the I'll TV take that saying, to the yeah, bank. Seven million I donated. And I wanted nothing. And then she posts her op-ed December 2018. And then in 2019, March, that's Having when fun, the Alex? was filed. So basically she had a, she had that money yeah, for over literally a year. Sued the she had sun, that money dude. for 13 months. 13 months she was sitting on seven million. Yeah. And, uh, oh, well, uh, January 19th. Children's Hospital sends her a letter saying they have never received the promise three point five million. Oh, Can you that's imagine? Rough, huh? You the Children's Hospital, LA, excuse of LA. You've been on television saying you gave the money to them, and you didn't. That's the woman we're up we're we're fighting against. And and, that, and there's the lawyer, there's the lawyer who's gonna lie about it. Sorry, I make sure I have all my. Elaine just doesn't care. Elaine's going to lie about it. She says it. Yeah, but yeah. Elaine is an attorney. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, she's got. Who was it? There was some famous, uh, uh, I want to say it may have been Socrates, but it may not have been. But there was, there was a famous philosopher that said, if you want to fix the world, first kill all the lawyers. 
and I don't think he was wrong. Gonna, but then Johnny sued us, so blah, 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 blah. Elaine, man, you are, you are caught so often with this crap, it's, it's just sickening. And then I want to go through one more lie while I have you really quickly, and that's, this is an important one, the doctor. The doctor has now given her testimony. I'm talking about the marriage counselor, and a lot of people are talking about, well, it was mutual, mutual. Huge lie caught, and thanks to all the eagle-eyed people paying attention, we got two documents. To be fair, though, be Stephen, that's not actually how it works. So a lawyer may not actually lie. Like, you, you can't, so a lawyer, for example, can't knowingly put someone on the stand when they know that that person is about to perjure themselves. Right? So if you know that someone is about to tell a lie, you can't actually put them on the stand. Because if it's proven that you knew ahead of time that they are going to lie on the stand, you will get disbarred. Uh, a lawyer is actually not allowed to lie. So what lawyers will do is they'll do what probably can be referred to sort of as double speak in a way. So instead of saying the thing that would absolutely fuck their client, they will sort of talk around the issue. So they'll avoid the part where they're actually going to lie in order... Like, say, for example... Um, uh, let's make a... Let's, let's think about an, an actual... Like, an example of this. Um, so say, for example, you know... Um, you know for a fact that your client stole someone's uh, Ferrari, yeah? A lawyer can't say that my client has never taken anyone's Ferrari because if the lawyer knew that the client was guilty and that the client absolutely stole the fucking car the lawyer can't actually say that so the lawyer can try and come up with something for example like your honor my client has never uh taken a, a vehicle with um my, my client has never robbed a car or, or never stolen a car by breaking the windows something to that effect right so you're sort of adding things onto the original statement. So this is, you're you're not technically lying. Uh, a great example of this actually is, you guys remember when Trump was in the White House? Yeah, and like fucking everyone was sort of angry about everything that Trump did. While there were a lot of things that people were rightfully angry about what Trump did, uh, there were also these news articles that would constantly fucking come out. Uh, so Trump, at one point, Trump said uh, he... He had two scoops of ice cream. I think Trump said something like uh, he had two scoops of chocolate ice cream. They then got him on a fake news thing by saying Trump, Trump, uh, the, the statement that Trump made that he had two scoops of chocolate, chocolate ice cream is false because he actually had one scoop of chocolate ice cream and one scoop of half and half. It was sort of like, it was one of those fucking articles where they sort of went after him for lying about the ice cream that he had. So technically speaking, they're correct. He, he didn't li he did lie because he said he had chocolate ice cream and obviously he didn't just have chocolate ice cream, but you're sort of like, you're picking a very specific avenue in order to make your case. Right? That's what lawyers can do that. So a lawyer can pick a very narrow window and sort of push through that window whilst avoiding the, the lie, so to speak. Uh, Alpaca said, I didn't kill you. I was holding the knife that entered your body, but you later died in hospital due to the negligence of, uh, of the EMT. Yeah, Apocalypse is correct. That's pretty much, a lawyer can do something like that. Well, actually, no. My client did not kill you. My client simply held the knife that you walked into, right? And then you died on your way to the hospital because the ambulance was driving too slow or whatever the case might be. So the lawyer technically didn't lie. They, they just changed the story to fit the narrative. But yeah, the lawyer can't stand up and say, my client did not kill uh, that person. My client is absolutely innocent. My client didn't even hold the knife if the lawyer knew that the client had held the knife. Documents that I can show you. The This is what, you know, the, the depositions, etc. It happened on the night of the 15th. This was the worst night of our relationship. That's when things happened. However, the notes from the doctor, they make it very clear. Nixie, that's actually the perfect example of this. It's actually the perfect example of this. Um, when Amber Heard said, I could never hurt Johnny, you're so correct. Because to the, so her lawyers most likely coached her 
to say it exactly like that. Because Amber Heard can't say that I never hit Johnny. There's literal evidence of her actually hitting Johnny. So she can't say that. But if she said I could never hurt Johnny, well, yeah, I did slap him. But look at me, I'm a girl. I can't hurt him. How, how am I supposed to hurt him? I'm just a little girl, you know? So technically, she didn't purge herself. She's not lying. She didn't, she probably didn't hurt him. She did slap him, but she probably didn't do damage. It was the morning. That morning is when she was, and not only was it, did she explain all the worst that happened, she also wanted to ask the, the she wanted to ask the marriage council, should she call the police or, you know, she doesn't want to divorce, but she wants to divorce. But will she have an advantage if she leaves him but files with the police before? Literally, she's talking about what kind of... Will I have the advantage to her marriage counselor while she's now giving her marriage counselor Shima, the proper deposition that she gives later? Was it morning? Was it night? How do you forget that? How do you forget that this, on the same day? Oh, it was the morning. Oh, no, it was the night. Uh, Dude, Amber Girl, you're caught... You look awful, yeah. and uh, the Eve Barlow, my Eve, you are the worst. Eve Fartlow, we should get it trending again. Uh, despicable. You are despicable. You don't care about the truth. She's just your girlfriend. I'm glad we finally got the bias explained. That's why. That's why she's there. That's why they're they're so tight. Uh, there they are. Uh, why are you don't quit quit standing up for Amber? How many how many years do you guys give it before she files? an indictment against Amber Heard as well, or a, a restraining order against Amber for spousal abuse or some shit. How long? How long do you guys give it? <laughs> she doesn't care about you. She's got no one left. Making you, look at making her cold the groceries. Oh my goodness. Oh, I despise these women. Uh, it's sickening. It is sickening what they've done to Johnny, and we'll be covering it all week for you here on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Can you make sure you are subscribed? Hit the bell for alerts. Dude, Hit this that is like button while you're on there, and leave a comment. What do you out. think of all this? And if you really, really are frustrated, share it. Get the word out. Thank you guys so much for watching. The thing is, it's not going to get better, right? And I see a lot of you sort of saying, well, actually, Akalon, it's, uh, you know, maybe when once her popularity drops or something like that. People who abuse their spouse um, don't just magically stop, right? It's not like just one day you wake up and you go, well, actually, never mind, right? I'm, I, I, I won't hit you anymore. Uh, there's this really fucking good... I just want to see if I can find this. I think it's this one. Wife's head into... Yeah. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show. It was like a poor excuse for The View. And they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence. Just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? <laughs> it's gonna fucking rust, right? <laughs> How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah, now I get it, ups a daisy, sweetheart, here we go, there you go, oh. Oh my God. At the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You could wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. Oh my God. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? There you go. <laughs> Every day. You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. Anyways, yeah, I just, uh, like, people who abuse their spouses are gonna do it. So I think if Amber Heard actually did do it, uh, she's gonna do it again. That's just how it goes. She is going to do it again.